sugar cravings got you down? I feel you. I used to be absolutely ruled by my sugar cravings. In fact, I was a bingeaholic, to be honest with you. But I've got the answer for you if you want to quash those sugar cravings once and for all. Tune in to learn more. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Kelly Alexa, fitness fanatic, serial entrepreneur, confidence coach, and most recently, keto convert. That's right, keto convert. And yes, we will be talking a little bit about keto today as we talk about how to quash your sugar cravings. But I just wanna tell you before we dive into the subject, I have had my life completely transformed because if my husband were to walk down here right now, he's working out right now, he would tell you, I used to be a snackaholic. I used to be a sugaraholic. I used to be a carbaholic. I used to be somebody who, whose every thought was ruled by, by food, what I was gonna eat next, um, what I was craving, what I wanted to make next. What could I make in my diet food portfolio that would taste like something I wanted to taste like? And I am so completely different now. And I don't, it's not like I've been brainwashed or hypnotized or anything like that. I've just changed. And, and we're going to talk about what it was that, that all the influences that changed that over the last year. But it's been the most wonderful transformation because now this is how I live my life. I'm not controlled by food. I'm not controlled by cravings. Um, I'm not weakened by cravings. I don't snack. It's very rare that I snack. It's very rare that I'm, I don't want to say, it is. It's very rare that I even have, you know, desserts. Um, and this is, again, I just really want to reinforce that with you as you start to tune into this video. I can relate to all of you who are watching this video. If you're somebody who eats in secret, if you're somebody who binges, if you're somebody who obsesses about food, thinks about sugar and, and sugary and, and carb foods all the time, this video is for you. So get ready because I'm going to give you a future that can change everything about what I just described and give you a far better future where you're in control. And if you're looking to lose weight, you know, the icing on the cake is that weight loss is effortless. So let's get started, shall we? All right, guys, you know the drill. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and also hit that cute little bell so that you're notified every single time we put a new video out. I am back on my YouTube channel with a vengeance. We are putting out four to five new videos every single week here. We have so much amazing good stuff coming up here. You don't want to miss a thing, do you? Hit the little bell button. Okay, we're back. We're talking about how to stop sweets cravings, how to stop sugar cravings. Let's just call it like it is. Sweet sh cravings, sugar cravings, carbs cravings, whatever. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, um, I used to be, and before, before I get into, I want to just preface when I say I used to be, let me, let me clarify for those of you who are new, because some of you are going to be watching this, who are subscribers to my channel. You've been following me for a while and you're aware of what I'm talking about when I say I used to be, but for those of you who are stumbling on this and you're brand new and maybe you're watching this for however it is that you found this video. When I'm saying I used to be somebody, I'm referring to, I've recently had in the past year, an extraordinary weight loss transformation where I've lost 36 inches and 30 pounds by going keto. And the funny thing about that is, um, keto is absolutely the very absolute last thing I wanted to do. I thought I used to think keto was a joke. Um, I thought keto was the biggest fad diet on the planet. Um, it was the very last diet approach I ever wanted to take. But it was my functional medicine doctor who told me to uh, take this diet approach. And it was after I had done a lot of work. I'd done a reverse diet for about close to a year. <coughs> Excuse me. I'd done a reverse diet for close to a year. I had um, 
had my doctor tweak my hormones, my bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment a bit. And then when she felt that my body was ready um, to diet again, you know, because when you do a reverse diet, you're basically doing the opposite of dieting. You're giving your body a break from dieting. And, and I needed to do that. I had been chronic dieting for the past 10 years. So when I was ready to diet, she said, you know, here's, here's your macros. And I'm like, is this keto? And let me tell you, I took a lot of convincing. I had to really be convinced by my doctor, but she gave me a lot of books to read, a lot of podcasts to listen to, and a lot of data to consider on why the keto diet is actually the best approach for women age 40 plus with metabolic damage. By metabolic damage, I mean, you really just can't lose weight due to your hormones and, and all of the problems caused by hormonal imbalance. And really that was me. For the better part of the last 10 years, I had been working out in a caloric deficit, always dieting, always working out, always eating the, the healthiest foods on the planet. And yet I was carrying an extra, essentially 25 to 30 pounds. I just could not lose weight. Um, and literally no matter what I did, I couldn't lose weight. I just stayed the same. I didn't, I didn't necessarily gain weight. I just stayed in the same like five pound. I might like lose two or three pounds and feel like, oh, this is great. And then just come back on. And I was always full of inflammation. I just, it was just a frustrating state. So June 1st of last year, 2021, I went keto. Um, ever since I went keto, I have not cheated. Um, it's become my lifestyle. It has been the easiest, surprisingly, because so many people get so intimidated by keto, but it has been the easiest way once I started, even when I really didn't have any idea like necessarily what to eat, um, it has been the easiest way for me to lose weight. I started to lose weight and I basically just started losing about a pound to a pound and a quarter, even maybe a pound and a half every week. And it just, it was this steady, steady weight loss. And in total, I've lost 36 inches and 30 pounds. And coincidentally, I mean, the first thing I noticed when I went keto was that I felt better in very quickly. I didn't feel bloated anymore. I didn't have as many headaches as I used to have. Um, I just felt better very quickly. Most notably that I felt like the inflammation that I had was, was um, decreasing, definitely felt less bloated. I had felt bloated all the time. And so the bloating went away, the stomach aches went away, my digestion improved, my elimination improved. Um, so kind of like the stomach's part of situation got better. Um, then I definitely felt that I was losing weight even before I had started weighing myself. So I had, I had started doing kind of like casual keto, um, kind of kicking the tires um, in May, but I don't think I would say I officially went keto until June 1st. And that's when I started weighing myself every day. It was, that was my husband's idea um, to weigh myself every day and put it out there on social media. And I'm so glad he told me to do that because it was the best decision ever, weighing myself every day and telling you guys and being accountable for it. Um, but the other thing that started to happen was I, I noticed that, um, you know, my energy increased my cravings went away. My behavior around food changed. And you guys, I, so this is where I can now segue into what we're talking about. So I'll tell you about what my experience has been. And then I'm just going to close up by saying, you know, like what I recommend to you, if, if you want to get rid of your sugar cravings, which I assume you want to do because you know, you either want to do it strictly for health reasons, maybe you're pre-diabetic, maybe you're diabetic, but probably I'd say 90% of adults also want to lose weight, then you're probably going to want to consider going on the same track that I have, which is going keto. Um, and and I urge you to listen to this this whole video because if you're like I was, you you know, I was skeptical about keto too. I thought it was a fad too. I know a lot of you probably might have gotten to this point in the video and said, oh, I've been told to go keto too. I, you know, I can't do it. There's no way I can give up bread. 
all I do, all I'm asking you to is just listen to my experience before and after, listen to my story. And if you can relate to the person that I, I was before, um, and if, if I can make the change and you can relate to who I was beha before behaviorally, then just know that you can make this change too, because um, it, it is a wonderful life on the other side, trust me. So I'll just summarize again, kind of what I said at the beginning of this video. Before I went keto, I was working out all the time, dieting all the time, but um, what I didn't know is that so much of the healthy food I was consuming, and by healthy food I mean I was eating whole foods, organic foods, eating at all the best healthy restaurants, um, you know, eating the healthy fats, not getting the fast, not not getting fast foods, not getting fried foods, you know, eating all of the good things that you think you're supposed to eat, right? I was trying to eat a lot of protein. That's what I've been told to do. I was trying to eat five meals a day, 30 grams of protein a day. Guess what? That's actually not a good idea if you're trying to lose weight um, and you're a woman 40 plus. Um, these are things I teach in my in my coaching with women one-on-one -on -one and also in my um, five-day online keto bootcamp course that's coming up. Heavy plug, it's launching a week from today. If you have questions and you're interested, comment below. Just put the word keto and um, we'll reach out to you and we, we'll tell you and, and we'll give you a special deal. Um, I'll talk about that too at the end of the video. Um, but, you know, again, I was somebody who was dieting all the time, eating all of the right foods. I would even have, you know, healthy meal service deliveries that were paleo and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And just, again, no matter what I did, eating all those healthy foods, I just wasn't losing weight. I was carb cycling, you know, incorporating 24 hour fasts. I was still on bioidenticals. So I'm spending all this money on my functional medicine doctor. I'm doing everything I could and not able to lose weight. Um, reading all of these books, blah, 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 blah. But what I can see in retrospect is so much of what I was eating was producing an insulin response. And what most women out there don't realize that I now know, I didn't realize it at the time, is, and this is not mainstream knowledge, it is... It is newer knowledge. Um, it is something that quite a lot of functional medicine doctors will know. But um, and and you know, if you start doing some research, you'll find out about this. But the vast majority of women who are age forty plus, who are going into perimenopause, menopause, postmenopause, and experiencing hormonal imbalance, the vast majority of those women are going to have insulin resistance. I have insulin resistance as we speak. Um, the, actually, the statistics on prediabetes and diabetes in this country is ridiculous. The, the amount that it's increasing is crazy, and that is because of the diet that we eat in this country. Sugar, processed food, carbs, it's crazy. Do the research. Um, but so many women who are entering into these this age age group 40 50 60 70 and beyond your hormones are changing if you have insulin resistance this is the likely culprit um first a lot of women aren't even diagnosed so they don't even know they have it they don't realize it and then if you're eating and and you don't know that you have it and you're not eating to address insulin resistance you're making it worse and the great thing is Insulin resistance is so responsive to your diet that, and, and I know this to be true because ironically, and if you go look at my blog, kellyalexa.com, excuse me, when I first um, started going on bioidentical hormonal replacement treatment back in um, 2015, I was, it showed up in my blood work that I was insulin resistant. And, you know, my doctor at the time wasn't really focused on that part of all of my issues. He was more focused, my first functional medicine doctor was more focused on the anti-aging aspect of, of hormones and, and all of that. Uh, my second functional medicine doctor was much more focused on my thyroid. My current doctor, Dr. Ruthie Harper in Austin, Texas is 
brilliant. She's the one who, you know, I made it very clear though when I hired her that I wanted to lose weight that I was coming to her for health and longevity and wellness and optimizing my, you know, everything. But I wanted to figure out why my body would not lose weight and I wanted to lose weight. Excuse me, I made it very, very clear to her. And she made it very clear to me that she would fig be able to find out what was wrong and without question be able to get me to lose weight. And with her, what we were focusing on, and she set it up very quickly, she said, what we need to focus on with you is inflammation and in insulin resistance, cutting down your in inflammation and your insulin resistance. And that is exactly what we did. And changing my diet addressed both of those things. And it was like the weight just, it's, it's as if my body just went <sighs> and the weight just like came off after years of just, you know, like, climbing Mount Everest, you know, with my hands tied behind my back and it's, you know, like trying to climb a glacier. It just, it just came off. And I'm telling you that, that very quickly after I went keto, I, I went from being a person and I, I don't, I don't remember when I noticed it because I never, ever, ever, ever would have expected. I didn't go into keto thinking, oh, wow, I hope that my sugar cravings will stop. I hope that this will change my appetite. I hope that this will make me not have binge problems anymore. I never had any of those thoughts. I never expected that that would happen. I probably never even hoped that that would happen. It just happened as I changed my diet, and I, I now know, here's what happened. I went keto, I did keto without cheating, my body became fat adapted. When you really go keto and you do it the right way and you don't go down the nonsense road of net carbs and all of these fake foods and crap, and you're, you're eating real whole foods and you become fat adapted, you're not taking in you know, sugary, high, sweet foods and your body Adapt, it changes. And then when I, one of the, you know, brilliant things I incorporated was exogenous ketones. Exogenous ketones are like one of the most, and I'm, I'm a distributor for this product with Prove It. They literally are like life-changing. Not, I, I need to take that word out. They're not like life-changing. They're life-changing. You know, so if you, now that'll be a whole other video that I do where I talk about exogenous ketones, what they are, how they work, all of that stuff. But ever since I started taking them, and ironically too, I know I've said ironically about so many things in this video, but I'm just keeping it real. I've told you I've had three different functional medicine doctors. My second functional medicine doctor actually introduced me to ketones by Prove It, the company that I now buy buy them from and I sell, I'm a distributor for, he introduced me to Prove It Ketones like back in 2016, 2000, no, it's 2017. You know, that's like when that, that company first started. And, and back then they only had one product and it tasted like crap. And I remember I bought a ton of boxes and I was like, why am I drinking this? And I was not keto. I was paleo and I hated being paleo and blah, 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 blah. And I ended up throwing all of these boxes away. And it's so funny that fast forward to today, you know, um, I got reconnected with the company through my dear friend, Jenny Lynn, who has since passed away. That was a very bizarre, unexpected death. Um, but she was involved with the company. She introduced me to the president and I got involved and I'm so glad I did because ever since I've started taking two doses of exogenous ketones a day, it is outrageous how much they quash your cravings and, and quash your appetite. And especially when you're intermittent fasting and fasting, you know how you can get, you know, when your stomach's really empty, like at the end of your fast and you start to get that kind of nauseous feeling that, and your stomach's like kind of churning, you know, I'll go grab my ketones drink if I haven't had it yet and take two sips and like those feelings go away. Like the little churning, it just goes away immediately. It's like, it's like that. And then I can go for another three or four hours without food. I mean, it's like, it's crazy. Um, I also was having major issues before I started taking exogenous ketones where I was having to take a nap every day at two o'clock. I thought my adrenal fatigue was coming back. 
ever since I started taking the exogenous ketones, don't have to take a nap every, any, any day. As long as I take two doses a day, every single day, my cravings are, are gone. Um, I, I don't snack. Um, it is my energy, my focus, my alertness, my clarity of thought, just everything. It is crazy. Now, some, you know, do you, do you have to use exogenous ketones to have your appetite change that much? No, I absolutely believe that some people can just go keto and do keto really clean and become fat adapted. And that will significantly quash your sugar cravings. And, but what I will tell you is that you add on that additional layer of the exogenous ketones on top of doing keto the right way your whole, your appetite at large, your cravings at large, it's crazy. Here's what I will tell you. Um, I've noticed there's a cut, there's been, there's been some random times, like we had COVID recently and during COVID, um, a couple of times, like I, well, during COVID, I didn't take my ketones. Just, I just was half the time just sleeping on the couch. But the few times that I haven't taken my ketones, there's two things I've noticed. There have been a couple times I haven't taken my ketones and I usually find myself talking with my assistant that day and I'll be like telling her in that afternoon, I feel like I need to take a nap. And then I'll, I'll tell her like, oh my God, I didn't take my ketones today. And I, and I said, isn't that, isn't that amazing that it, it, it keeps me from ever having that fatigue. But like if I, you know, just when I don't take it, I, I notice, I definitely notice um, that fatigue that I used to have can come creeping back in. Um, it's amazing how well it works. And it's not like a jittery caffeine, you know, Red Bull kind of, you know, energy that you get. It's like an all natural energy. And then the other thing too that I've noticed is that if I don't take my, um, the few days that I have not taken my um, ketones, I'll find myself wanting, um, thinking about like keto snacks, not wanting to cheat and go off ch and, and have like pizza or cookies or pop tarts or things that are like out of my keto life. But I'll, I'll find myself thinking like, oh, I really wish I had some of that BHU cookie dough, you know, like where normally I find myself thinking about it a little, like significantly more when I don't have my ketones. I, it's just, it's crazy, man. That is honestly like, that's, that's the crux of it without, without, I mean, there's really not much more for me to tell you. I've told you, you know, and I think I mentioned to this, this to you before as well, before I went keto, before I went keto and added the exogenous ketones and, and lost all this weight and all of that, you know, I used to eat in secret. I used to binge. I'm, I'm going to, you know, link up a video here where I talked about binging and all of that stuff. I mean, I just, my whole, all of my thoughts all the time were ruled by food. And you know why? Because I wasn't happy with what I was eating. I was never fulfilled just from a physical standpoint. I was never satiated. So my, my mind and my body was always thinking and wanting something else. With keto, I am satiated and I'm fulfilled with what I'm eating. Um, so there's that. I think that that also makes sense. You know, when I was, I was not eating quality foods. When you're chronic dieting and you're eating a bunch of fitness foods, like, you know, fake protein pancakes made with, you know, just a whole bunch of like chemical wasteland protein powder and egg whites, you know, and it's just, everything's fake. Sugar-free syrup on top of fake pancakes, you know, and, and then just everything was, was just fake to be like, no, no fat, no carbs, no, no, you know, but a ton of protein and everything was manipulated. Nothing was real and nothing was ever filling and satiating. And it just, so you're always thinking about what you're cutting out, what you're not allowed to have and you're never satisfied and you're always wanting more. And that leads to a lot of binging and it leads to a lot of obsessing and it leads to a lot of, when you do binge, then you immediately go into this cycle of I binged and now I feel guilty and now I feel shame. 
And so now I feel shame. So now I'm going to punish myself. I'm going to diet harder. I'm going to work out harder. And guess what that does? That makes your hormones even more imbalanced, which makes your insulin and your cortisol and all these things even worse, which makes your weight gain even worse. So the cycle and the things that are interconnected there, they, it's just this perpetual bad ripple effect. And the beautiful thing is like when I went keto, it just unraveled all of that. And again, I've never had a more, it's like a, for lack of a better way of saying, I feel like, you know, a flowering, you know, like, like I'm blossoming as a human being, like, like this was, cause, cause here's the deal. Let me just close by saying this. Here's what I know. And, and here's what my experience proves. What I know based on what my doctor has taught me. And now, you know, because I am now coaching other women and I am creating um, digital products so that I can help other women 40 plus it, learn how to do keto and lose weight because I want them to experience what I've experienced. I don't want all of these other women all over the country who are on the struggle bus and dealing with imbalanced hormones and not knowing it and not knowing that this is the answer to all of their problems, all their weight loss problems. This is what's going to solve your weight loss problems if you are, you know, 40 plus, can't lose weight, craving sugar like a mad woman. You're probably craving sugar like a mad woman because you probably have insulin issues and you're probably eating a whole bunch of, like you're probably living a high carb lifestyle. And what you don't know, because you probably either aren't on function, seeing a functional medicine doctor, you probably aren't on bioidenticals, and you probably don't have a doctor who's advising you that, you know, this insulin resistance problem that you have is perfectly solved by the keto lifestyle. And then the second thing that you're probably thinking in your head is, yeah, but you know, I, I heard this about keto. I heard this about keto. I've tried keto before and I couldn't do it. I did keto before and I gained weight. All, take all those things and just zip it. Because I'm going to tell you, either I've thought those same things before or every single woman that I have coached has said those same things to me before. I've tried keto before and I lost weight and I gained it all back. I've tried keto before and it didn't work for me. Um, I've heard that keto makes you blah, 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 fill in the blank. I've heard this. I've heard keto is just a fat. I've heard keto, blah, blah, blah. Here's the thing. I'm telling you right now, I used to have the same skepticism. Keto works. It absolutely can be a lifestyle. I have been on this more than a year. I enjoy wonderful tasting food. I have a whole digital cookbook that I've put together um, with just easy, the meals that we've lived on. My husband's not even keto, but he eats these meals with me um, and loves them. Um, you know, I put together a whole cookbook of 52 plus recipes. That it's linked down below. Um, we enjoy, I enjoy what I eat every single day. There's never been a time that I have ever felt myself go, oh my God, I can't wait to get off this diet. That's why I've never gone off the diet because I don't feel like I'm on some crazy prohibitive diet. I enjoy what I eat. I've made this a lifestyle and I can teach you to make this a lifestyle. This is why I knew when I had this transformation, not only did so many women start to come to me and say, please help me do the same thing, but I'm passionate about sharing this experience with other women because that's what I, I want this for you. I struggled for so many years and I was so miserable in my own body and I also didn't feel good. And to, to be in the place I am now where I'm selling all of my clothes on Poshmark because nothing fits me, it's, it's all too big. Um, and I feel so good in my body and we're getting invited to parties this summer that are pool parties. And for the first time in over a decade, I'm not mortified and thinking, Oh, I don't want to go. The first time in my life, I'm like, well, I better go buy a new bikini. That's what I want for you guys. So I used to be in that place where I crave sugar all the time. I used to be in that place where food controlled my every thought. I used to be in that place where I was obsessed with food. I am not anymore. Food does not control my life. Keto has changed my life. Keto can change your life. Keto is not a fad diet. 
keto is absolutely something that can likely solve all of your craving problems, all of your weight loss problems, and I can be your keto ninja. I can be your keto ninja coach guide. And um, not only do I, ha I've got several, several options to help you. Um, they'll be listed down below. I've got a free keto quick start guide with all of my, you know, kind of best practices and tips. Um, that's kind of a starter, obviously a free guide for you. Next up would be my uh, keto cookbook that's available for $27. That's got really, again, more tips and best practices. It's got a 30 day meal plan in there. Um, it's got all of the recipes, again, that we've been making for the past year. I mean, most of those recipes, we'll make one or two of them every single week. I mean, the turkey taco bowl is a regular in our house. We either make it with turkey or beef. We just made the Asian lettuce chicken wraps uh, last week. Actually, we, we are gonna, and the great thing is about the digital, cop because it's a digital cookbook, whenever I update it and add new things or discover new recipes, I will update it and then you'll get the updated version as well. We just made this great Salisbury steak recipe um, and I'm going to add that to the cookbook and, and send it out. Plus I found some great, I've been testing some keto cheesecake recipes and once I get the crust where I want it to be, then we're going to add that to the cookbook too. And then I do offer one-on-one -on -one coaching. I don't take on a lot of clients because I really can't carve out a lot of time in my schedule, but if you're interested, you can email kelly at kellyalexa.com to inquire. <clears throat> but most importantly, a week from today, we are launching my five-day online keto bootcamp for women. And really, that is the best option for most people because it's an online self-paced video taught experience where I teach you soup to nuts, A to Z, start to finish, everything you need to know about going keto and making this a lifestyle so that you can lose weight, curb your cravings, and and live this keto lifestyle and enjoy it like I do, where you don't ever feel the need to cheat or go off the diet. Um, and it's $197. And um, again, you're looking at like, what, four, is that like 40 bucks a day, $197? But I will tell you this, if you comment down below with the word keto and you leave your email, if you're not comfortable leaving your email, just comment with the word keto below and then send an email to my assistant, Angie at kellyalexa.com. If you do that and mention this video, I will give you 50% off of my course, my five day online keto bootcamp course. So you'll be able to get it at 98.50. Um, it's everything again that you need to know to do keto the way that I have. And I think that that is the most accessible way for you to learn how to do it. There's also going to be a Facebook group where you can ask questions and I will answer in there once a day. Um, and again, I think that that is really um, such a great opportunity. It's going to allow me to reach so many more women than one-on-one -on -one coaching. Um, so I am very excited to have that uh, course go live. We did a couple of beta groups uh, about three or four weeks ago, and that went really well. Um, I've got some great testimonials I'll be sharing, um, but then um, the public course launches a week from today. So again, I would love and I would welcome any questions from any of you about sugar cravings, emotional eating, stress eating, binging, you know, anything to do with these topics that are intertwined. Um, if you have questions about ketones, if you have questions about going keto, if you have questions about my cookbook, about my online keto bootcamp, anything that I've talked about in this video, I'd be more than happy to answer as well as my experience on keto. Um, any questions you have, I would love to hear from you. I would love to just, um, you know, see what resonated with you, what your, what your struggle with sugar has been. Um, and again, what questions you have, but like this video, leave some comments and questions below. And again, thank you guys for stopping in. Uh, don't forget to make sure that you're subscribed and also hit the bell so that you're notified of new videos. And we will see you guys soon on The Kelly O Show. Have a great one. Hey everybody, thanks so much for tuning into this video. I hope it was helpful. I'm connecting you here to a playlist of quite a lot of keto videos that I've published that I think are going to be super helpful for you. So check them out. And of course, as always, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. Kelly at kellyalexa.com. See you next time.